good morning all of you this is naresh in this class i am going to explain about centroid and center of gravity and uh, important applications of uh, centroid in real life first of all what is centroid centroid is a point at which whole area of the body is assumed to be concentrated okay the location of centroid of the body is required to maintain equilibrium of your body centroid applies to plane areas the amount the moment of area about any axis passing through that point is zero okay next one is center of gravity what is center of gravity center of gravity is also a point at which whole weight of the body is assumed to be concentrated okay center of gravity applies to bodies with mass and weight okay here i am showing what are the differences between center of gravity and centroid again uh, center of gravity applies to bodies with mass and weight as well as the centroid applies to plane areas center of gravity is a point through which resultant weight of the body acts for any orientation of the body and last one centroid is a point in a plane area such that the moment of area about any any axis passing through that point is zero what are the real applications of centroid okay. in design of civil engineering and mechanical automobile structures like uh, buses bikes buildings water dams irrigation structures rcc structures foundations water tanks bunkers on and so on on like this so in many of uh, civil engineering structures for example like this water tank uh, dams automobile parts and uh, bridges rcc structures foundations okay these are the important applications in engineering field uh, the position of uh, center of gravity is important because the stability of structure depends on center of gravity here i am showing this st some standard shapes uh these are the examples for centroid of uh, simple figures like rectangle triangle semicircle quarter circle arc parabola area parabolic area the centroid of your body is calculated with the uh, assumed reference okay the centroid of your body is calculated with the uh, assumed reference there is no set rule for selection of axis of reference but in general practice the axis of reference is is the bottom most line bottom most line of the figure for calculating y bar and uh, left edge left edge line left edge line of the figure for calculating x bar because of this practice the entire figure lies in first quadrant and the values of x and y distances distances uh, become positive okay
the center of gravity of a uniform rod lies at its uh, middle point as well as the center of gravity of a parallelogram or a rectangle is at a point where its diagonal meet each other okay the next one the center of gravity of a triangle lies at a point where the three medians of a triangle meet now the center of gravity of a circle lies at uh, its center its center point and uh, the quarter circle like this and semicircle and arc and centroid of a parabolic spandrel these are the clear formulas for uh, different orientations of uh, La plane figures rectangle triangle equilateral or uh, isosceles triangle and uh, third one is a uh, right angle circles semicircles qu quarter circles okay if a given section is uh, symmetrical about x x axis or y y axis the the center of gravity of section will lie on the axis of symmetry okay once again i will repeat the same sentence if a given section is symmetrical symmetrical about x x axis or y y axis the center of gravity of the section will lie on the axis of symmetry for example here i am showing i section uh, first figure uh, i section it is a symmetric about both x and y axis therefore the centroid of the i section is at symmetric point and uh, second figure the it is uh, i section is symmetric about only y axis therefore uh, therefore the centroid lies on the on y axis only and next one is uh, l section it is uh, unsymmetrical section next uh, t section t section is uh, a symmetric symmetric about uh, vertical axis therefore the centroid of the t section lies on on uh, symmetric axis on yy axis on yy axis only 